Hello everyone, I've got a uh, slightly different video for you today. Um, I'm going to show you how you can get a uh, free camera for free and um, in about, well, less than 30 seconds if you know what you're looking for. Um, and how do you do this? Well, you're going to open up your World of Tanks folder, uh, your games World of Tanks, uh, look for res mods, uh, your patch, so you're on, we're on number 10 at the moment, GUI, you're looking for avatar input handler. Uh, you can just search for it in the uh, World of Tanks folder if you wanted to. But um, either way, you're going to make a copy of this because, well, you're going to be making changes to it and it's useful to have an original copy line around. So make a copy, rename it something useful like original. That way you know it's the um, original one. Then we're going to open up the uh, other file using Notepad. Nice and simple, you don't need any special software, this notepad will do. Um, and you're probably thinking, oh my god, look at all this code! I'm going to have to get a degree in coding to, to do this. And, um, no, you're not. It's fine. It's very easy, very simple. I'm going to show you how to get this by adding two simple lines of code. Um, actually, it's not even two lines of code. Um, it's the same line twice. Yep, that's it. Uh, video mode available, true, close video mode available. That's it, that's all you need. Um, so you're gonna, I've just got it here on this uh, notepad, I'm gonna copy it from here and we're gonna paste it between post-mortem mode and camera. So let's go to the file, scroll down until we find post-mortem, there you are, uh, enter, and there we are. Let's, uh, let's make this look nice. Uh, one more. Yep. And... Well done! You're halfway there. Time for a coffee break, I think. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, now we're going to take the second line of code, which is the same as the first line of code, and we're going to insert it between arcade mode and aim, arcade, aim. So let's scroll down a little bit till we find arcade mode. There we are, and we're going to insert it right in between here, one more, click, and you are pretty much done. That's as easy as that, just uh, hit save, that's saved, and you will now be able to use your free camera. Now the, uh, um, the changes will not allow you to use it in game, so it's not like some sort of uh, super duper and of god cheat mod. Um, nope, it's only going to let you use it in replays. Um, now, why would you use that? Well, it's probably useful for assessing your replays, seeing it from different angles, seeing uh, um, how people made shots, and also if you're going to be making cinematic views as well, which is nice. Um, let's get into the game and see what that actually looks like in a replay. Now, I'm going to wait for the uh, timer to tick down. There we go, and now I'm going to be able to uh, engage it using no, not tab, caps lock F3. Oh no, my ah, come, my tank is driving away from me. There it goes. That's it. Now you're free. Now you can uh, scroll up and down using the mouse wheel, which will change your elevation. Move around using your movement keys, and the ground. It's all a bit jerky at the moment, but if you hold P. It will help smooth things over. Look at that. Flying around. Nice smooth camera. Where, am I, where have I gone? Let me hunt myself down. Here we are. Move around using the elevation keys as you go. Uh, your movement does take a little bit of getting used to. But once you do it, it can be quite cool. Now if you scroll down too far, you'll notice you go through the ground. You can uh, click X to prevent that from happening. There you go. You can... Uh, now hug the ground as you're moving along, which can be quite nice um, for getting uh, getting an idea of elevation changes, things like that. Great for seeing when tanks will hold down and what have you. Um, here we are again. Okay, that's a look at that lovely shot. And you can adjust the speed using the numbers. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, 
8 and 9. There we are. And it moves around. Let's go find myself again. Where have I gone? Um, I seem to have lost myself. Well, that's okay. You can bring up the minimap still. There we are. And you'll see the minimap has a little icon for the camera. So that's useful as well. Again, if you're making videos, then that's a, a very useful thing to have because you can see what you're looking at. But you will notice that you can only see tanks that have been visible. So, like I said, you're not going to be uh, able to fly around and spot all the enemies. Just those guys that have actually been spotted in-game. And, yeah. Well, there you go. That's about it. There is your free camera. Free cameras for everyone. Hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. If you have, please like and subscribe. Until next time, you've been oinked.